Yeah, welcome to a new Java tutorial. Today we will talk about AJAX. But first, what is AJAX? AJAX is a standard for asynchronous JavaScript and XML. From this we can already expect that AJAX allows us to communicate with our server in an asynchronous way. So why would we need this? And the best way to describe this is by doing an example. So let's jump right into it. What do we need? We need a page where we start. On this page we will enter some data into a form. So we need an H form. In this form we will put a label. This label will only show that we need to enter a name here. Then we need an input text which has the ID username and the value we define soon. For the value we will need to create a bean, which we will we will do that right after the form. So now we need a button to submit the form and there we put the value submit to make clear what this button does and we create an action for our bean later. Then we need an output text which has the ID welcome text and the value hello and later we will add the, w the value from our bean in here. So let's create the bean we call it user bean and this is a managed bean on a few scoped. We need a private string username here and we will create the getter and setter for this. Then we need a submit action and here we just print out the uh, the string text so we see the submit action was called and so that's all we need for now and we jump back in our page now we can add our user bean username here and define the action And down here we can now add the username for the welcome text. What do we expect now? We expect we can enter our username, submit the form and get our hello text. So let's load the site, enter a name here, submit and it works. As you uh, have seen I will remove this and enter again. We are on our context root, which is the page index.xhtml, but if we submit, we see the page is reloading and the URL is also updating. We can check the source code and see we have our input type submit button, which submits the form. So this is no AJAX. We want to do this on AJAX think about this site would have many images really big and you just want to update this small part of this page and you have all and every time you need to reload the whole page that would be really annoying so what do we need to do to make this button an AJAX button it's really easy we just add JSF AJAX tag on it to use this AJAX tag you need to define the namespace of JSF core like I did it here. You can uh, change the F to whatever you want, but in most tutorials it's F and most applications are using it, so just took F. This is first of all enough, so I will reload this page and check the source code again. So now I see 
the input button is still type submit but now the onclick event got return false at the end so this means this form will never be submitted by clicking on this button I can show you this I press submit our bean action was called but this update but the site didn't reload it so the URL wasn't updated there was no reload also this field wasn't updated we need to define some things so let's check the text we have the disabled argument we don't need this now we have the event event is defines when this ajax tag will be triggered and uh, you can put here uh, on click on key press on key up i will show this later in more details the execute event is uh, important this is on default add to this which means only this button gets updated gets sent to the server in an asynchronously way there are also add form which would submit the total form at all which would submit the whole page and at none which would submit nothing what we need is entering an ID here so I can just enter username and it knows he has to use this field you can add multiple IDs by just using space as delimiter I will just let this be formatted so we can see this is our content of our form and we can go again for another tag immediate is not in for interest is not in our interest we have listener tag here the listener tag is if we want to have a special method executed only on this ajax event so if we have multiple ajax events which is possible we can define a method for every single ajax event so we need the render it tag. The render it attribute allows us to update a field on the page. So in our case we want to update our welcome text. So I put this in here. This takes the same arguments as execute use. So you could put add this, add form, add all, add none in here, or like we do, we add an ID. So let's go back to our page and enter in the name again submit you see the page was not reloaded but this field was updated our name was sent to the server down here our ajax listener was called everything worked as i said i will show you the f ajax event tag uh, attribute so we will create another ajax tag here for our input text so now we say event key up so every time one key was pressed and released this event will be triggered and we will need a listener for this in our bean we will create this listener here public void key press and we will print out the username so we see how this is updating and we define this here and test it I clear the console down here and now I enter just a D and instantly the Ajax submitted this part and it's shown here our event was triggered so we get this output twice but this is totally normal because D is uppercase and so I had to press shift which is a second button if I press knee we only get this event once triggered and so we get every single key press in our bean so this is how ajax works and i hope you understand it if you have any questions post a comment and i hope i see you soon